get on. You don't gotta tell me twice. Glass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. That might not be her favorite subject. Oh, look at that. Oh, damn. I don't know where we're going, but damn, look at that. Oh, so it's underwater. Oh, damn. This is crazy. We're here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Look at this, we're underwater. That is crazy, ain't it? You know me, I have to explore a little bit. But damn. What is this? Look like noodles. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. What are we looking at? Show your they face. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek my, my son. son. <laughs> um... You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the, the destroyer, destroyer of, of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Park. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my son, son was born, born shut, shut up! up. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. <laughs> Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. Wow. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. That was educational. Hmm. How do I go back so I can 
punch her face in. It was annoying. Is there anything I can do over here? I guess not. I'm gonna change the story. How about that? Let us leave this place. Happily. That is crazy. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Hmm. Brother, okay. what they said about the boy will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Right? Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. Really? So what is your point? <laughs> Kratos, I see something. 700 is crazy. What are we looking at? Bust through there like that. No, get back down. Get back down. I right, gotta get that. There we go. Look, imagine. I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies. And yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to come Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes prophecy among them how do you mean brother there are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it so it was when Freya tried to protect Balder and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard then we agree it'd be foolish to go after Heimdall no if Heimdall must die for Atreus to live then Heimdall must die how can you say that knowing what you know because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. It's crazy, ain't it? <clears throat> Let's get up out of here. Nothing here for us. Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Uh. Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, You'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me. 
Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Let's ask the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear, what's to be done? They're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Who the fuck is that? Okay. Dropnir. I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. I will help me kill Heimdall. Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... So now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Oh, look at this. Just one of those? Oh, I'm gonna miss you, little one. Oh. <laughs> Got it! I think. So we got this Lord of the Rain. I thought you didn't believe in fate. We are all worried about your son. We Enough! Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... The lady. Oh. Whew. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. Okay. The lady. No idea what he's on about, brother. I know you mean well with that. 
See you out there. Let's do it. <laughs> Master Kratos, excuse me. They're all going to blame us. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh no, this whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you have to. heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. Wow. What the? <sighs> no, you pimple shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Think the fuck again. You see, you see, Brock get the job done. Brock know how to get the job done. What was all that then? Gold just sends me trying to hog home. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion in you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for him on account of being stupid. Wow. Let's do it. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right prick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. Right? Forging destiny. She know what to do. Oh, she sucks. Yeah. She knows what to do. Oh no, that's the wrong one. We may need to work together on this one. Of course. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Okay, it's just a tunnel, just to be a tunnel. A tunnel just to be a tunnel. For liquor and explosives. Right. People on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic ace here. Oh, look at this dummy. Look at this dummy. Right. Right. He came out of nowhere. Ain't no way he thought he was safe. Who's next? No way he thought he was safe. Well, I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Careful, brother. Flammable. Oh, yeah? Oh, somebody's here. Look at that. Get back out of here. Get out of here. I like that. I like that. 
Ah, get the cook off. Look at this. Can he even land? Another oil spill. Oh, that doesn't work. All right. Thank you. Well, that's the way we gotta go, though, right? I guess it is. That's not working. Hold on. There we go. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. That makes more sense, right? Oh, look at that. Look at that, I get to grab him like the scorpion. Damn! Damn! What was that? I gotta get rid of him. Oh, look at that. He on the ground. Damn! I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh my goodness. I won't give him a chance. I won't give him a chance. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that everywhere. Look at that everywhere. What'd you run into? Ain't no way. Ain't no way you came out yourself to get whooped on like this. Oh my goodness. Get cooked. Get cooked. Get cooked. No, come here. No, he don't want to come. He don't want to come. There we go. Get cooked! Stupid. Kratos, Kratos, please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Um, do not ask again. But. Oh dear. Oh. He don't want to, you know. It's not his fault Atreus ran off with him. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate, the one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not the champion. Well, he's entitled to our opinion. <laughs> Look at that. Causing so much chaos. Damn, that fire's still there? Alright, there you go. Ooh, look at this. What's this? A massive ice wave. Okay. I'll take it. All right, let's get up out of here. All right, let go. You see me let go. Move, move. There you go. It's open. About time. Oh, oh damn, like that? Oh, I like it. I like it. 
I like when you come do dumb moves like this in front of me. So I'll just go let you do it. I'm gonna cook him. I'm gonna cook him. I'm gonna cook him. Oh, well. Thanks for your help. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing, isn't it? Let it fly. Why should not let it fly? I know I'm on fire. I know I'm on fire. Who's next? Well, that was a bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. Oh, he's gonna care about the dwarves. We'll need to get one of those gates open. How do you expect we do that, huh? Oh, that didn't work. Ah, you've seen these drops before, haven't we, brother? Yeah, we have, huh? But where that water coming from? Just in case. Oh damn! Oh damn! Oh bugger! There's two of them. Can and I explode this? Nah, no, I'm gonna bring them in this room. How about that? Go, yeah, come follow me. Yeah. On your left. Yeah, come follow me. Yeah, there we go. Where is he? There we go. Explode. Oh damn! That's how you feel. <laughs> That's how you feel, huh? That's how you feel? Shoot! Shoot! Is she helping? Okay, I gotta get back. I gotta get back. I gotta get back. I gotta get back. Hell no! Nah. Yeah, come over here. No, come over here. Yeah. Yeah, come over here. Don't back up. There you go. Don't back up. Don't back up. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I hope Freya will help. I hope Freya will help. I hope Freya could help. She's back here watching. She's in the back watching. Hell no. Nah. You thought I was going to land? You thought that was going to land? No way you thought I was going to land. Ain't no way you thought that was going to land. Get stabbed in the face. Are you dumb? Well, who's ready for some fresh air after that? Everyone, don't It is close. I can feel it. How do you know? Look, I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts. And I know something about that. Is that right? You know something about that, huh, Freya? I ain't listening to you. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Thank you. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon and to use it. Oh, she think I'm gonna just get this for nothing. I already told you I'm here to save my son only, not lead a war. How about I know you're not struggling. I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the floor. Falky! Wow. And she going just like that. <laughs>